All right, hello everyone, and welcome to RimWorld. Uh, before we get started, if you want to skip me talking uh, or skip to the colonist creation, there will be timestamp links in the description. Uh, yeah, so I bought RimWorld like two or three weeks ago, uh, and I got instantly hooked. Um, and I've been trying to figure out how to work it into like Twitch and YouTube and all that stuff. Uh, so here we are. Um, I'm going to be doing, I guess, like a Let's Play type format. Uh, it's going to be pretty unedited. Uh, you might see some jump cuts here or there if I have to, you know, if I get interrupted while I'm playing. I'm recording this on the weekend, so weekends tend to be a little bit up in the air for me. Um, but yeah, editing is going to be pretty minimal. Uh, yeah, and I think that's it. So we're going to hop right into it here, and I will talk about things as I think of them. Um, so we're going to be playing, I mean, pretty much like the standard mode. Um, we're going to be doing Cassandra Classic on medium. Um, and I'm going to do reload anytime mode just for the sake of recording. <laughs> if something goes wrong, I would, you know, with the recording or whatever, I would like to be able to reload. But um, beyond that, I'm going to be, you know, what do they say here? The self-enforced commitment mode. So if something bad happens or if I make a mistake... Uh, we are going to roll with it. And I'm just going to leave this all the same. Uh, so yeah, so my, my room world knowledge and experience is quite minimal. Um, I have watched some Let's Plays and streams of it. Um, I've seen just about up to where someone started building the ship. Um, but beyond that, you know, I haven't looked up any, any pro strats or anything, so I'm going to be uh, continuing to fumble my way through like a new player, I suppose. So I like to try to pick a somewhat mountainous area, preferably near people that aren't super hostile. So somewhere in here looks like a good spot. Uh, let's see. I like to try to avoid caves too, um, because as I learned in one colony, Bugs like to uh, randomly dig up in caves and kill your colony while they sleep, so I like to try to avoid that. I'm thinking maybe by this road uh, to facilitate faster caravan travel down here. Let's try right here. Watch those granite marble. Let's do it. Alright, so and as far as picking colonists, I I try to avoid uh, drug addictions and like people who are missing limbs or have like cancer or some kind of you know really really big issue that will be hard to deal with uh, in the early game, or at least that I don't know the proper way to deal with in the early game yet. Um, and beyond that, I like to try to get a good spread of skills of people um, that have a passion for it. Um, at least one flame, but double is better. We'll just look through here. Uh, and I like to try to avoid people that are incapable of things for my first three uh, colonists. I mean, if they're incapable of like social or intellectual or artistic, that's I'm usually okay with that. Um, caring can be okay too if I have a pretty good medic otherwise, but beyond that. Alright, let's take a look here. I can't, apparently I can't think while I'm talking, so I'm gonna page through. Um, I think I'm gonna reroll. I was debating between picking three colonists from the ones they give me, or if I should reroll, and I don't think I'm good enough at the game to just pick from here, so let's reroll the drug addiction here. Uh, no, Dumb Labor Violent, I want them to be able to do Dumb Labor and be violent for sure. Iron Will, Teetotaler, and Jealous, not that worried about Artistic, People Social. Um, an Addiction though. <laughs> if this big rolling goes on too long, I might just speed this process up. Jealous and ugly. The shooting's pretty good. I actually haven't dealt with the jealous yet, but it shouldn't be too hard to work with. Um, 
we'll keep her around for now. Uh, so shooting construction. We're looking for some in the middle. Um, construction is a nice one to have. Really high to start with, I've found. Another, oh god, what happens if you have two jealous people? <laughs> is one of them just always unhappy? Um, keep this guy around for now too. I haven't dealt with a nudist either. I imagine that's not <laughs> very enjoyable for the other colonists. Sigmund Trigger Happy. She's not very good skills. So I'm looking for like animals, plants, cooking. We have to re-roll this one. Is animals and cooking? This cooking is pretty low to start with, though, and intellectual. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's try to re-roll someone to replace her. We're still missing. We'll be missing like plants and. Medical. It looks like mostly with these. Oh, and she's the other jealous one too, so. It might be worth. How much pain is he in? I think that's probably gonna be manageable. I forgot what I said. Plants and. Plants. Mostly just plants. Oh, plants and intellectual. I oh, know we have intellectual. Uh, plants and crafting, maybe, if we can get that. Alright, let's see what we can get. There's crafting. The Pokemon Optimist. Mining. Think about trading her out for somebody else. We might trade her out here. See what that does down here. So we have passions on all of them now. That's animals. Oh wait, we have someone with a. Oh, that's right. Crafting doesn't show up down here, so we don't have anyone for with a passion for crafting. I don't know if that's going to be a huge deal. Who's crafting animals? That's animals. Medical. I think I'm going to go with these three, and we'll just see. Actually, this guy's not very great now that we have her. I have some pretty old colonists as well. I might try to re-roll re -roll one more time to replace this guy. I'll try to get somebody... Maybe just a really crazy good crafter. She has, she's low intellectual, but she'll level up pretty fast. Animals, and she's really good at animals. And plants and cooking. Okay, let's let's re-roll one more here. So I'm looking for crafting, basically crafting and possibly a higher cooking skill. Just gonna roll through and watch for f watch for the little fires by crafting. Mm, capable of violin. I'm not. I don't like that too much early on. Psychically sensitive. That's mining. This guy might not be bad either. Need your dumb labor. I don't like that either. Need your dumb labor. Hmm. We can do medical. We're replacing this guy. Finding plants and crafting. 
That might not be too bad. We can put him on the, uh... Be our primary <laughs> dumb labor person as well, since he's got some overlap with other... Alright, so we're replacing this guy. I think this is, I think we're gonna go with this. Hearing none, none. Oops. Alright, let's go with this. I'm, uh, I'm <laughs> done re-rolling either way. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try to try to keep these episodes in like the 30 to 45 minute range. Um, and try to get them to end as naturally as possible within that time window. Uh, so as far as settling, um, I learned the hard way, like I talked about earlier. I thought I was so clever digging into a mountain <laughs> until a bunch of bugs spawned in the middle, uh, or burrowed up in the middle of my colony and killed all my colonists. Basically why they were asleep. So I'm going to try to build out a little more in the open. You know how that goes. I'm thinking just right in here. There's a geothermal there, which is nice. Um, it seems fairly easily defendable. Just have little holes here and there to kind of fill in. Just looking around. I don't think I'd go anywhere else. So let's, uh, let's tell them to pick up all this stuff. Or allow it, rather. Uh, let's see, let's figure out who's getting guns and whatnot. I forgot who has shooting. He's seven with a passion. Okay, you're getting the bolt action rifle. Um, we'll give you the black stuff as well. Oops. And the helmets and the fuck vest. See who is second highest on shooting? We wouldn't have a melee person either. Oh god, we only have one, one really good shooter. Okay, well we'll give we'll give Robbie the revolver. Uh, and that leaves Scarlet with the knife, which I don't see. There we go. Alright, we'll allow all this. I should zoom out so I can get all the steel all over. Just do one. I like to queue up a bunch of stuff and then we'll We'll, uh, we'll kind of lay down the early colony. Um, another mistake I think I've been making uh, with my other colonies is building too big too soon with uh, you know all the raids in and whatnot being based on colony wealth. I think my wealth was always kind of higher than my ability to defend it. So I'm going to try to keep things a little bit simple early on here. Maybe give them, you know, we'll do like a... A freezer, a little kitchen area, with a separate butcher spot, uh, and then probably like a shared sleeping area for now. All right, let's. Uh, I wonder if I, I might just use this as something, maybe the kitchen area. Uh, so we'll build like a, build a small freezer. I like to build a giant freezer, but we'll build a small one to begin with. And we'll make a two, three, four, five, six. And let's do and double doors and do it here. Uh, we'll probably do a little dining area out here as well. I'm gonna try not to overplan. I have a, <laughs> I have a tendency to sit and plan everything out perfectly, uh, but for the sake of recording, I'm gonna try to keep it kind of fast. Uh, I think I will leave space for for a hallway here. Uh, and we'll just do like a bedroom area, um, but not build the hallway for now. Actually, you know what, I think I, just for the sake of centering doors, I think I'm going to make all this stuff <laughs> one one wider. Yeah, I'll put a door there, and see, I want a separate butcher's area, so we'll... This will be a wall, the butchers cooking, a little table area. We'll put our first research table in there as well. Uh, put another door here, a door there. Uh, yeah, we need 
a stockpile. I normally enclose my stockpile. I have to remember this geothermal thing here as well. Uh, let's put the stockpile put it down here, I guess, for now. Might end up moving it. Like kind of a small one, too. That might be too small. There we go, we'll do that. Alright, let's zone some stuff. And throw a door in here while I'm thinking of it. Eventually, uh, we'll connect all this stuff, but like I said, I'm going to try to hold off on doing that <laughs> until we're a little more well-established with the fences. I think getting fancy with hallways and lighting them all up uh, was my downfall. Let's see, so in here, uh, we don't want to allow rotten. Uh, we don't want foods. We don't want herbal medicine. Um... Pretty sure most of the drugs need to be refrigerated. Wort has to be refrigerated. Plant matter has to be refrigerated. Put chunks in here for now. Uh, I think that's everything. Items, oh, body parts. Not that we're close to getting body parts, but just so it's set up for when we do. And we'll put mechanoid corpses. That should be that, and then we'll make this, even though it's not refrigerated yet. Uh, we'll make a zone for it. Alright, so we'll clear all here. We want to allow fresh foods, uh, herbal medicine, drugs, warts, plant matter, uh, natural body parts. I think that's it. Oh, and then animal corpses. Alright. And that should be that. Let's give him a horseshoe pit. Put it, put it right here. Uh, let's give him some beds as well. Yeah, let's kind of line them up in here. It won't be very private, but that's alright. Alright, we'll let him work here for a little bit. Need warm clothes already. I've never had that warning happen immediately. Oh there it goes, okay. Oh he probably took his Yeah, he took his he took his pants off to put the, the flag pants on. Uh, oh that's right, let's assign this stuff too. So I'm not I don't feel like I'm great at assigning this stuff, but Um I usually make all this stuff one. We'll make our highest medical guy one. Bed rest will also be one. Oops. Doing a really bad job clicking. Um, basic, I usually put at four. Actually, this guy, or girl rather, who is going to be our. Yeah, it's you. So we'll put. Uh, we'll let Scarlet be one on basic things. I don't often have basic tasks, but when I want something turned off, it's nice to have somebody that will just do it. Um, she can also be one on. Actually, we'll put her on two on Warden. I don't often take. I don't often take prisoners, so we want on handling uh, and cooking. Ooh, she's gonna have a lot of ones. Um, actually, who did I give the Pepper has the so you can be one, make her two. She have the revolver. Yeah, okay, so that works out pretty well. Uh, when I construct, does anyone in, no one else has a passion for it? So we'll make her a two on growing since she has a lot of ones already. Um, I'll make her a one on mining as well, and him a two, since he'll be constructing most of the time for a while here anyway. Uh, Scott's gonna end up with more stuff than I was expecting. Um, let's make growing and mining. Might have to tweak some of this stuff because <laughs> I want Scott to be crafting as well. Uh, but we don't have a lot of crafting to do, so let's do this for now. We'll definitely have to... Oh, I was going to make her my hauler. Um, let's just do this for now and see how it goes. Make him a 2 and her a 1. Yeah, we definitely have to edit this stuff, but we'll have to see how it 
how it pans out. I almost have to, I usually, I usually set it up kind of <laughs> willy-nilly like that and then see how tasks are getting completed and edit it from there. So you also need to get a growing zone going. Uh, so one thing I like to do for early power, and I don't know if it's great or not, um, I don't think we have any, f we kind of have some furl stuff there, but kind of far away. Um, but I like to build the plants, uh, the grow zones within the footprint of this, um, of the windmill, the wind turbine. Got words there for a second, um, just because then they keep all the trees cleared out. Oops, I don't want them to build it right now. Uh, and I like to start with rice and cotton. Um, rice for food, obviously, and then cotton, because they usually like hats or other warm clothes in the winter. Uh, let's do rice here. And let's do cotton there. That might be too close to our base here, but... I'm, do I'm doing my best to keep everything small and compact. Um, I was wondering if I m might uh, do better on... Uh, I forgot the AI's name, the one that's like for, you know, more geared towards building. But this feels more like the AI and difficulty the game is intended to be played on, so to speak. I have two people planting, which I think is how I have them assigned, isn't it? Oh no. So, I guess Robbie doesn't have a lot of things to do. Let's find look at everything planted quickly. Uh, we probably want to start them on some food production. And a butcher's table. Like, it's more cramped than I intended it to be, but we'll go with it. I think they can walk past the chair, so it should be all right. Oh, I didn't allow for a double door in here. I don't know if a double door is worth it, but it it seems like it prevents temperature from leaving uh, the freezer area a little bit when they're when they're walking through the doors. All right, so they have an enclosed bed area now. Let's go to floor. Make sure we'll let them finish building everything else. I'm going to look around for any useful materials we may have missed. Uh, that's already marked. Oh yeah, there's somebody to haul it, I think. Oh yeah. I'm not seeing anything with X's on it. Oh, here's another thing to deconstruct. Alright, um, so what is everybody doing right now? Pulling steel, pulling steel, okay, so they're all, they're all working on something. Oh, we're out of wood, aren't we? I always forget about that. Alright, let's chop a bunch of trees. I was gonna say, why are they all cleaning? There's still, there's still stuff to be built. I'm just gonna chop everything nearby. All right, so that should be what we were missing. He so says Pepper hauling right now. He's on. Oh no, he's resting. Okay. Right, we have all our stuff planted, which is good. I want to get this up and running so we can start hunting and preparing meals rather than eating the packaged survival meals. Kind of nice to have early on for caravanning. Oh, sorry, I forgot about our pet too. We got a Yorkshire Terrier named Kinko. Need defenses. Well, uh, I'm going to hold off on that for a little bit anyway, and we can 
you usually do alright in the first, you know, two, three raids without sandbags and stuff. Um, once we get a butcher's table, I'm gonna restrict Kinko and give her a little kibble area. I think it's a she, right? Oh no, he, sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll restrict him so he doesn't eat all of our package survival meals. Alright, so let's, uh. Oh, I never added bills here either. We'll do that, we'll do 10. Oops, not do 10 times. I want to do until you have. There we go. This will be Butcher Creature forever. Make Kibble. Uh, I usually do 100, but I'm trying to keep things small. So let's just do, do 10. Uh, do to have. Spacecraft have impacted. Cool. That's a lot of them. Uh, let me just pause for a second here. So I can do creature forever, make kibble. Let's so I was making some meals. Okay, that should be fine. Let's um, haul some of this stuff out of here. Visitors, and we have stuff to trade. Let's see who's our social person. We not have one. We don't really, so it'll be. <laughs> it looks like Scarlet. Oh no, we have people idle. Why are you idle? Okay, well you can go trade that guy. Um, is there really nothing? There's nothing to even haul anymore. The raccoon. Uh, let's see. We can start hunting now, though, because we have a butcher's tail and everything. Uh, wildlife. Let's hunt something safe. Hunt some turkeys. Right, Robbie should go out and do that. Right? <laughs> I hope. Um, shotgun is pretty nice. A lot of money though. I might buy I might buy both of these actually. Because we don't have anybody that's melee heavy. Get everybody a gun, let's do that. Uh, let's see, who has the knife? I think it's Scarlet, right? Wait, oh, I forgot I can look down there. Uh, okay, you come in... Oh, oh, there it is. I'm gonna equip that. And then just haul... Yeah, drop the knife. Or, oh, she's hauling it right away, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, do we need more wood already? I don't think I've ever gone through wood that quickly before. Okay, let's just do a... I'll give everybody something to do. Alright, see how their needs are doing. They're probably, yeah, they're not happy about a lot of things. Slept in the cold. Of course, they're all being interrupted. They're interrupting each other's sleep, but... Oh wait, without a table, we can fix that. Uh, I want to be able to fit the research table in here, too. Let's put this... Let's do a... Do a couple of these. Actually, let's just build a research table as well. Oh, that's right, naming. Uh, Andam Alliance. I kind of like that. And Granton. Let's just stick with these. I usually just randomize until I find what I like. So, we'll uh, we'll spare the recording from that, I suppose. Let's build a research table. Um, I usually research batteries right away. Um, just to get the wind turbine up and running. Did we not successfully hunt anything? Thought I oh butchering. There we go. Okay. I was gonna say I thought I heard shooting. Wait. Uh oh. There we go. <laughs> so I don't I don't see anybody butchering. Actually, let's put. I still haven't figured out if a having a floor in the freezer helps um, with retaining heat uh, or cold, rather. I'm gonna throw one in here too, preemptively. 
I should be lucked out because this already has a floor, so it saves a little bit of time and resources. Uh, let's give them a floor too. That might help their mood a little bit. Oh, mad rat. I think he's right. Yeah, he's right here. Scarlet, you have a shotgun, right? Yes, you do. Let's just do this. She shouldn't be able to hit it. I'll have Pepper come out too, just in case. There we go. Okay. It was fine. All right. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to get done here? Food, <laughs> oh no. Alpha barracks, sunset environment. Oh, they do they actually recognize? Oh, I can't read it, they keep changing. A room, but I also had to share it. Oh, okay, so they, they rec- I didn't- Like I said, I've never built a shared sleeping area. Hopefully if floor ends up helping, I could give him some torches, but um, hopefully we can get some power here. So, so what? Awful impoverished, average size, ugly, dirty, yeah that sounds about right. Alright, he's all done. He's done eating. Let's, uh, we'll give him a light, we'll give him a torch in here. Usually I skip torches for the most part. Uh, there they are. Um, give them... That should be good, I think. Yeah, normally I get to power a little bit faster, but since I'm trying to take things slowly, we'll do torches. Let's give them... Do not leave a lot of space in these areas. Let's give them torches in here, too, so they... Uh, work at max speed. Probably let them finish all this stuff up here. And we'll call that an episode. It's not a, not too bad of a start. A lot more a lot more compact than I normally have it. Do we still have wood? Yeah, we do have plenty of wood. Oh uh, yeah, a bit more compact than I usually start, but I think it will benefit me in the long run. Oh, I never made an area for kibble, did I? Oh, that's right, we need the rice to finish before we can even make it. But let's get a zone set up anyway. Uh, let's just put it... Let's put it... Right here, it'll be fine. Oops. We clear all... Wow, fresh. Get a little... Oh, that stuff's fine. Okay. Oh, it'll make it critical, actually. There we go. Rice is doing fine. Are we still good on wood? Yeah, looks like it. Should have enough to get through all these floors. I uh, need to hunt too. I've been trying not to go crazy until we. Oh, excuse me, until we get uh, proper refrigeration. Oh, that's right, let's restrict. Oh, no, we don't restrict the dog yet. I forgot we don't have, we don't have rice. I'm gonna give him torches in here too, let's do it. We might be able to get away with two. around for <laughs> random dead animals. I'm gonna haul them in before they start rotting, but I don't see any. Uh, that stuff's all marked already. <laughs> we'll let them we'll go through one more day here. I should get all this stuff done. Let's see. I'm gonna watch what they're all doing here, see if I have to adjust work. 
I think they'll all stay busy. Well, why aren't we constructing? Oh, because Pepper is set to hunt first. I guess that's fine. There's usually not a lot of hunting to do. Do I have anybody else set to construct? I don't. Because they're both terrible at it. <laughs> let's, let's put them at three for now. Oh yeah, I'd rather have somebody researching for batteries anyway. But if they totally run out of things to do, they can build torches and floors. They really can't mess that up too badly. He's out here hunting still. Get that turkey. There you go. Let's see, does he have a... He has a passion for shooting, right? Oh, we got a raid. Nice. Uh, let's go get him preemptively. Oops, you not you don't have the shotgun, that's okay. Oh, I thought he was walking up closer. Oops, I keep getting these two mixed up. Oh, well played, hiding behind the, the building. Oop, that was a little too close. Oh god, run away. There we go. Um, and I don't. I am really probably not going to take any prisoners. Let's uh, let's have you just melee him to death. Oh, right, that was easy. Um, I guess we'll build a grave. Let's put it. Let's put him down here. Try to get the. The uh, cremation area pretty quickly. Alright, see, how are they doing? Alright, we pretty much got everything done. We got one. Why are there. Oh, because I told them to build the wood floor. Oh well. Alright, so I think I'm going to leave the first episode here. Uh, not a bad, Not a bad little start. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, so I guess in the, in the next one we will we will try to get some power going. We gotta get that battery research done. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. All right, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.